Hi guys and welcome back to a new video with the Omega Enthusiast. On today's episode, I am going to review Omega case model CK2505. This case model was first introduced in 1946 and lasted to around 1954. This is by far one of the most common jumbo size vintage Omega watch made. But why are there so few of this model in great condition today? I will explain that in this video. CK2505 case is made of solid stainless steel. The gold-plated version will be under case model BK2505. Majority of the gold-plated version did not survive until this day due to oxidation which caused damage to the entire case. Since the case design has smooth lug, it can be difficult to examine the case to see whether it has been polished or not. Owning the watch in hand will allow you to examine the watch a lot easier. The dimension of this case model measures 38.5mm in diameter, excluding the crown by 46.7mm from lug tip to lug tip. The thickness of the case is around 7mm excluding the crystal, and around 10mm if I include the current crystal. The crown measures 5.3mm wide by 2mm thick. The case lug width is 18mm. The acrylic low dome crystal does not take a metal tension ring. If you happen to purchase this case model recently, first thing after receiving the watch is to hand wind the crown fully until you no longer can turn it. Pull out the crown in order to set the time. You can turn the hands clockwise or counterclockwise and that would not damage the mechanism as long as the watch has been recently serviced or the old lubrication is still fresh. Now, let us compare the difference between an oversized watch next to a jumbo size model. The piece on the left is referred to as oversized and is under a different case model. You can learn more about their differences by clicking on the link above. Basically, when a watch is, is described as jumbo size, it will affect the value of the watch quite a bit since there are not many that survive until this day. Vintage jumbo size watch has a high demand since most vintage watches are between 33 to 34 mm wide. To make life easier, the case lugs will have easy spring bar release hole on each side. There are many dials variation for this case model, but the majority of hand type that you will come across will be plain dial fin or leaf hands. The crown can be signed or unsigned depending on the market that it was delivered to or the year of manufacture. This watch is definitely too big on my wrist. Pop open the snap-on case back and inside you will see the case model number with the Omega logo. Depending on the year of the watch, CK2505 can come with the caliber 30T2, 265 or 266. They are very much the same movement except for a few minor upgrades to differentiate them apart. Caliber 30T2 and 265 will have 15 jewels, while Caliber 266 will carry 17 jewels. If you see a Caliber 265, then expect the watch to date between 1949 to 1952. There are two case clamp screws to hold the movement in place. Without these two screws, winding or setting the time will show some movement to the dial. So why are there so few of these jumbo size watches? Well, the cases are not moisture resistant. Something you will need to watch for is the case tube, which is usually missing or filed down. This is because when a watchmaker replaces the crown, it is very difficult to find a substitute crown to properly fit onto this case tube. So instead, the watchmaker will just file down in order to randomly fit a new crown. On the edge of the case back, you will find this file down area. Make sure that you set this area on the opposite side of the crown when closing the case back. This edge will show a small gap opening which allows the knife to slide into and pop open the case back. That is the end of this video. I hope you have learned something from watching my video as always. If you have any question regarding this video, let me know in the comment section below. Please support the channel on my Patreon account and make sure to hit on that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. Make sure 
uh, to follow me on Instagram to see some of the coolest vintage Omega out there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.